Hey everyone on YouTube, it's me again. This time I wanted to show you this new double pedal I got. It's kind of a review and hopefully this video will be useful to the guys who are thinking about getting this pedal. I purchased it at first because of the price, because it's a very good deal. Very good price for a direct drive pedal. It's even cheaper that the than the Gibraltar direct drive pedal, at least in my country. So I was uh, checking both pedals and comparing it to this this comparing this one to the Gibraltar I could notice that for example the linkage uh, joint here on the Gibraltar was moving sideways if you pushed it over so it looks looked a little bit more um less solid than this one which uh, you push it and it doesn't move at all it doesn't make any noise or clicks now that's one thing. Another thing, like uh, looking and feeling the actual pedal, you do kind of uh, mm, feel the metal being a little more dense, which uh, to me could look like uh, a little bit more high quality. Um, another thing, uh, there's another thing about the structure, uh, the actual building of the pedal. Over here, when you have the, the rods for the beaters, they are, you can see here, they're kind of um, floating. These two rods, they're independent and there's no section or piece holding these two guys to the actual pedal base. So this pedal does look like kind of uh, prone to breaking uh, over time. I have owned this pedal for uh, three, four months now and I've really been slamming on it really hard and doing tests to find out if anything could break. Nothing has come loose, nothing looks like a weekend or um, having a problem. Another guy was wondering uh, if this, um, well the rods here had two bearings. It does have two bearings inside of this uh, tower holding the shaft. So it's just not one bearing, it's just two of them for a little bit more support. So could mean it's a little more durable that you might um, it might look again regarding the feel of the pedal um, you hit it and it does feel like a regular chain pedal where, where you uh, hit the pedal and you do feel this kind of like rolling motion it's not like a, like old a robot or like a lego -y as an axis pedal or a demon drive even so it it does feel like the advertising a little bit more like a chain pedal. The uh, actual mm, the foot plate is longer, but it's just that's just like a centimeter or something like that. So it's no big deal like they they show you on the commercials. It still um, it still feels nice and it's no no big difference to a regular uh, chain pedal at least. Comparing it to the pedals I've owned before, which was uh, a Gibraltar double chain, um, I think it was like an Avenger or Intruder thing, which I really liked, and um, an Iron Cobra, which I didn't like so much, but that was just a matter of uh, personal taste. The slate pedal feels really good. It's not uh, different than, or at least very different to the, to the main pedal, so that's um, a very good thing. It's light and responsive, and it doesn't make noises. Now, that's uh, also comparing it to other double pedals where you have in this price range even even the, the Iron Cobra has like a stiffer uh, slave pedal so this is an advantage, advantage on this one it looks does uh, have that kind of um, you know plus there's no luxury things you can adjust on the angle, beater angle or whatever still for the price it's um, it does feel good off the box and maybe you need to tighten up or uh, you know change the, the spring settings now, uh, you do feel a difference with the direct drive. It's no like really big deal, but it's just like um, you know when you change from a low end to a high end instrument. There's subtle things that you need to do, take care of when you're playing. You do you are able to squeeze a little bit more power of things that are um, you know harder to do on a regular chain paddle. I suck at single strokes. It's still um, I'm learning a heel toe and I do notice a difference with this pedal which is a little bit more comfortable. I'm 
it's not making me faster, but um, you know, it doesn't make you faster, but you can squeeze a little bit more power or get a little bit more articulation with uh, things like that. And, well, basically, that's it. Hopefully, this will be useful to you. So far, I've liked it. It looks very, uh, it looks good construction, and it doesn't look like so prompt to breaking down as some guys worry about. Anyway, for the, you know, for the price, it's a very good deal. And, you know, um, whatever, if it breaks in two years, I'll, I'll be okay with that. It's a, a good pedal. And, you know, if you, you don't have the, um, the budget to spend, uh, to buy a, a demon drive or an axis, you could try this once and could still um, do the job.